Okay, let me get my chat set up here just in case anybody pops in. There we go, my channel. Be just a second here. Look at this. Toss it a like. Put it back over here. Okay. So, not sure if anybody else stopped by and chat or not. Either way, that's fine. I am doing this for me, not necessarily for someone else. So, yeah. Um, it's Saturday. I'm not planning on going freaking anywhere. Um, be that as it may, I'm still all about this. Follow the routine and get ready for to face the day bullshit <laughs> that I've been keeping up with for the last more than a week. So, yeah. What I'm going to do first is get my hair up out of the way. Because a little bit of it falls into my face. And I don't want to get makeup all over it. Well, okay, the old generic headband going on here. There we are. Okay, so first things first, I have washed and moisturized my face with um, Philosophy uh, Purity in a Jar, Time in a Bottle, or no, Purity Made Simple, Time in a Bottle, and Renewed Hope in a Jar Day Cream. Um, Purity Made Simple is the cleanser. Time in a Bottle is the anti-aging treatment stuff. And um, the day cream is moisturizer. So I have this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Matte Foundation in Fair Light Neutral that I'm going to apply. And I have this wonderful, I just got this. This is um, the Paddle Me Perfect um, foundation brush. And it is so densely packed, it's ridiculous. Like, it's, it feels like velvet to touch it on the top. There's that many bristles in it. It is ridiculously soft. My husband sat and pet it for like a while. Okay, so first things first. Let's start with the cheek. And don't ask me why I do the little C thing, because I don't know. I'm getting a mirror out so that I can use a mirror too. Damn it. There we go. Kind of trying to spread it thin. to maximize the most area out of the littlest bit of product. And then later, go back in and get that finish on it that we love so much. I see a difference already. Maybe a little bit of one. This actually matches my skin pretty well. Um, it's maybe just a little bit off on the color but I mean not not really like the men folk in the house say that it matches up really well so and that's if they if I had an Oompa Loompa face they would totally tell me because my brother has already told me once about a different foundation Oh, it was probably a big mistake just swapping that across my forehead like that because I have the mom Wi-Fi and I feel like I just doomed myself to having this stuff settle in there, which, you know, is whatever. A little late now. What can I do for you, Pete? Can I... We have Ask your father. Mm -hmm. 
Just kind of blending this down into the neck area, just so there's a seamless transition there. Trying for one anyway. Okay, and now that I've got the the majority of my face covered up here, I'm going to go ahead and come in with the beauty blender and use this around my eyes. I don't have the concealer that I need yet. I'll be getting the Bye Bye Under Eye uh, concealer from It Cosmetics. But in the meantime, this is just going to have to work because dark circles. And I'm just going to, yeah. I don't know if you do it that way or not, but I do. Put it all the way around because I need as much help as I can get. And I like the little pointy on this because you can kind of move things around without, without having to move the blender around a whole lot and it'll still move the product around. It's looking better. Get this side before it dries up. I don't know why I'm like graying my teeth while I do this. <laughs> Something about poking myself in the eye with a sponge makes me want to grind my teeth. Okay, and I know two spots that I've missed. Whoa. It's going to be right here and right here. So for this one right here, I'm going to go with the Beauty Blender and kind of put it around. And same down here, I guess, just because it's easy. Um, I want to be consistent with the finish that I have on my face, so I'm going to spread it around with this and blend it down. <sighs> How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is well. I just dropped product on my desk. That sucks butt. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over with a, with the damp end of the beauty blender and just kind of anything that looks caked up, kind of even that out and get rid of the cake. And for me, that's going to be usually right on the inside upper corner of my eye and around my hairline because I can never get it right. Okay. I feel like I have a boogie. <laughs> All right, next is powder. I'm a good powder. This is the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Setting Powder um, in translucent. And it comes with its own little, little foof thing here. And I'm going to use this foof to set my foundation. The reason that I use the powder is because I have large pores across here, and powder will minimize the look of those. So I'm going to start where there's a problem and just pat that in. I don't want to rub because I don't want to rub my foundation off that I just that I just worked so hard to put on. That's so much better. And then we get some big pores right here. 
got a line to fill in here, which I don't suggest having that attitude about lines. Don't fill them in with makeup because then you get those weird pools of makeup in all of the lines on your face. I don't have a better suggestion for it at the moment, but won't do that. Got some big pores here. There we go. That's good enough. And then we're going to see this complexion blender brush for real techniques and just kind of swipe off any excess that there might be because I'm not always real good with the I'm not always real good with the application with the poofy thingy <laughs> I'm going to kind of press this in around my eye area, though, because I want it to set, and I'm going to be putting eye makeup on there, and I want it to not move. Okay, I probably already made like 90 mistakes, <laughs> but that's okay. Because I'm still learning. I do things um, as I figure them out. And my technique gets better, I hope. So, but anyway, I have not one plan today. No plans to go do anything. I'm gonna stay my happy ass home. I'm gonna save eyes for last. This is what is this blush palette called? It's the it's an Amazonian clay 12 hour blush um, palette from uh, Tarte, and this actually came in a clutch case like a like a little clutch purse thingy and it was awesome I'm gonna use this brush this is a blush brush from Ulta Beauty and it has it's very like swipey is the word that I'm looking for here it's not real dense so I can work with a small amount of color and not overdo it because a lot of times I will overdo blush and I'm just gonna kind of go in here with this with this brown shade kind of do a little bit of contouring not much just a little Go back in, shake off the excess. And I don't want to go too close to where my mouth is right here because you see the smile lines. I don't want to accentuate those. So I'm going to try and keep it from like here over, right about here. And the contour you just kind of put where the hollows of your cheeks would be if you weren't a pie face like me. <laughs> so we're going to kind of create a hollow there that's not there because I am not a skinny bitch anymore. Good morning. <laughs> Who are you? Good morning. Me. Oh. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with this pink shade right here and um, use it to blush up the, my upper cheekbone in my mirror for this. I can't just use the camera. I'm going to bring this up and around because that's where the sun would naturally hit on my face is up and around along the upper part of that cheekbone and the apple of my uh, cheek right here. And I kind of, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I kind of point the brush down a bit so that I'm not spreading it too far down. Like if the sun wouldn't hit it, I don't want to blush it up per se.
And again, just working with small amounts because I want this look to be wearable. So if it doesn't translate well on camera, I apologize. But I want this look to be wearable. I'm not going for full glam or anything like that today. Although I might do a dramatic eye. I don't know yet. I have fun with eye makeup. He's really funny. Okay. That ought to do for the blush. I feel like I have that just enough and blend it in. I don't know. I'm pretty, fairly, fairly, feeling fairly certain about that. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go with a highlighter and put a white line on my cheekbones right here because the blush that I used is really light pink and it's like a highlighting blush in the first place. So I don't feel like I need that extra oomph right here. I feel like I'm oomphy enough for a daytime look. Oh, hey, we're starting to get some chats. Hi. What's the capital of Alaska? Yeah, I know that. Anchorage. <laughs> Oomphy. Yeah, that's a word. It's a word now, anyway. Yep, capital of Alaska is Anchorage. Troll one, troll two. Okay. Oh, I love being untrollable. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, eyes next. I gotta pick a palette. What? I know that all the water So for eyes today, I'm going to use the Sweet Escapes palette from Tarte. And I haven't decided which two colors I'm going to go for, but I'm only going to go for two colors. I'll figure it out as I go. Aw, uh, are you that desperate too? Okay. Troll three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so like this isn't intended to be like a makeup tutorial or anything because I am far beneath <laughs> the guru level of any of this. I just wanted to see if anybody wanted to come chat while I get myself ready to face the day. Um, I don't even necessarily want to talk about makeup really. It's just whatever. To let me get my four favorite brushes for eyeshadow. I'm missing one. There it is. Cannot forget this guy. This blending brush right here is my all-time favorite. I love it so much. And I use the crap out of it. I got it in a boxy charm box not too long ago. And I use the hell out of it. So, so should I want like more coils or less coils? It depends on what you want. Uh, is my vape over there? Ideally, you want less because the more current you have, the more stuff you pay, the more stuff vaporizes because the more current is passed through the coil. He's trying to make big clouds. Oh. What? Two videos for the shit. What? Um, oh, as usual. Can you please help me close this thing? Yes. <laughs> okay, and I think we'll go with some. 
given underneath the counter? None of the guys. Um, are... I think we'll go with some cooler colors today instead of, well, there's that yellow and orange combo. I think I'm going to do all shimmers instead of putting a matte in my crease, which I know I'm begging for trouble doing it that way, but it'll be okay. And again, I'm not going for like a super glam look or anything. I just want to just do it. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Cut up my crease with a darker color. And even though it's a shimmer and will bring it forward, it will still bring it backward because I'm going to use a lighter shimmer for the lower. For the mobile lid. That, that's how it's supposed to work in theory anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I've been trolling around the denture community on Facebook the last couple of days, and I'm not seeing a lot of the people that I used to see. I don't know if they have removed themselves from the denture community or whether they're part of other groups or what's going on there. But all of the drama seems to have left as near as I can figure. I know that's probably so not the case. And this brush too, I'm just using this to pack color on. This is a color packing brush, not a blending brush by any means. Just a little bit down here to line with, just so I got matching lids. Okay, so the idea here is going to be I'm going to put the color on first and then I'm going to blend them together. So I'm going to go back in with this yellow shade called Rum Runner. I want to take that color off of my brush first. Look at that other color off of my brush first. How's that sound? I am so not a pro. Yeah, man, I was trolling around looking for a juicy conversation this morning and got pleasantly surprised slash disappointed. No new tea to spill today. So that's like a double-edged sword. Like tea is interesting, but tea is also a pain in the ass depending on what tea it is. Hey, you. You're fine. Okay, your face, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My husband's such a great guy. There it is. I was wondering what happened to the color. I'm like, I'm supposed to be, this brush is supposed to pack it on. Where is it? Actually, more shit to talk about right now. I totally don't, though, because my life is totally uneventful right now. I'm getting ready for a trip next next week, week after next. I'll be going to Maryland to take care of my dad, take him to his surgery in D.C. and take care of him afterwards, and then I'm going to bring him down here, and then we're going to see about getting him moved because he wants to move here to be closer to the family. Oh, hey, hold on. I can't see who made the comment because I can't, can't read. Hi, Saba. How are you? <laughs> I just peek through my glasses because I'm terrible. 
All right, now I've got this blender brush. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out a little bit. So it's not so out there. And again, I use two shimmers, which is weird, but the idea is the darker shade will recede and the lighter shade will come forward. Then I'm also going to go in with this highlighter, this highlighty light colored shimmer right here. And try and brighten that up just a little bit. Why I'm using my blender brush for that, I don't know. But it sounded like a good idea at the time. And next time I use my Zodiac palette, BH Cosmetics has really come a long way. They have upped their game. Blendy, blendy, blendy. All the blendy. There's a shade going on here. Can I, can I do that? I feel like that's even. Okay. Liner. Um, again, I don't use, I mean, I do, but I don't want to uh, use regular eyeliner. Powder sticks and stays so much better. I have here, I have browns. I'm going to go in with this brick red, I think. Yeah, that'll be all right. Going with the brick red and dark in my lash line. And then I only want to put just a little bit on the outside corner here because I don't want to make a dark line uh, underneath of my eye to drag it down. Um, I want my, I'm, my eyes to have that pulled up effect because I'm old. And yeah, so I'm actually going to sweep this color just a little bit up and around the, the lid here again so that I'm pulling that eye up instead of dragging it down with a lot of heavy makeup underneath. And this is where one of the one of the places that Kayla and I go different because I've got ten, 10 years on her. I didn't know if anybody knew that but um, I am damn near 40. And Kayla is not. She is much younger than I am. So my techniques are going to be just a little bit different. I'm do the same thing over here. Smudge it into the lash line. Take just a teeny bit in this bottom corner. Whoa! <laughs> I dropped my damn brush. It flipped right out of my hand. Take a teeny bit more and sweep it up instead of straight out to pull that eye up a bit. There we are. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't use. Um, an eyeliner pen or pencil because they're very heavy and the lines are very thick and I don't care for that look on my face. Um, not today anyway. I'm trying to do an everyday look, not like a glam thing. So I've got my Maneater eye pencil and it's a liquid liner from Tarte. And I'm going to just make a very thin line to fill in the rest of that lash line on the upper. 
lid. Just the very thinnest of lines, just as close to that lash line as I can get. Because the idea is to fill in the gappies, if there are any. I don't want it to look gappy. But I also don't want a big fat line across my eyelid because I'm not trying to draw a wing today. Okay, and this is going to look really weird, but I'm also going to go up under here and do the waterline underneath of my upper eyelid on both eyes. Or maybe I'm not. Am I going to get to reach it? That feels weird. Yeah, I can reach it, but good lord. It's weird. Look, I'm drawing on my eyeball. Ooh, girl. Okay, that's it for that. I'm not putting any liner on the lower lid because, again, I don't want to drag that eye down. Just saying hi. Hello, person I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, I can't read your, your language's characters, but hello. <laughs> okay, next will be lashes. Normally, I would use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes um, mascara, but today I have Man Eater Mascara out of the Sweet Escapes palette because I'm trying to keep with the same palette for everything. And so this is just like a little to-go size wand. And I'm going to apply in a zigzaggy direction from the roots of my lashes all the way to the ends to make sure to get an even coating along the whole lash, not just one side of it or the other. And then I'm gonna come back and coat the other side, just to make sure we have 100% coverage. And then I'm gonna sweep them back up so that they go away from my eyeball and are visible. There we go. Again, I don't know how well this translates on camera because I'm not doing a glam look. I'm not doing heavy, heavy makeup. I'm doing something that's wearable. And because I'm keeping it simple today, uh, I am going to use the lippy that came in the Sweet Escapes palette. This is Tarte uh, Hydrating Lip Color in uh, Naughty Nude. Normally I would want to apply that with a lip brush to get um, really accurate, but again, this isn't like a super complicated look or anything like that, so I'm just going to use it straight from the tube. And I don't ever overdraw my lips because I feel like they're big enough already. And there's that. What are we missing here? Missing brows. I believe. Yes, Miss Morales. Where is it? Okay, so to fix the brow problem, I have an Ulta Beauty brow tint in blonde. Because, well, I'm purple haired right now, but I am a blonde. And the medium or the darker brow tints just they make my my eyebrows look even more drawn in than they are like I don't like I have long eyebrow hairs and I have quite a few of them they're just there's little empty spots and they're so light it's like you don't get that neat eye brow look without giving it a little help and this isn't even going to be terribly neat so I'm not that close to my face. I can't really tell what I'm doing. I'm getting the overall gist of it from my mirror here. There's one. Here I twist my hand around the other way to fuck up the other one. So that's normal. Let's 
snafu situation normal all left up. Okay, I feel like that's about as even as they're gonna get for right now. I'm not that worried about it. What I am worried about is this whole band hair that I'm getting ready to have. <clears throat> Yeah, so there it is. I've got, whoa, I've got something on my glasses. Holy cow. So there it is. That's my wearable everyday look that I did for today with a super shimmer eye and nothing really popping off of my face because, again, this is an everyday look. And there we go. Nice and neat. Now let's see what this hair is doing. Ah! <laughs> things it wants to on its own. You know what, that's just fine. I'll wear a headband today and this will be slick back and no, or I'll wear a barrette and nobody will know. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for getting ready with me. I will see you guys next time. There'll be a Chomper Chat Live next Friday at eight central, uh, nine Eastern. And there will be a fresh new video on this channel on Monday. Until then, everybody be good to each other. Keep smiling and keep being awesome.